Hey everybody, I'm Zelda Master, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In this one, we're gonna be taking on the final trial within the game. Yes, the very final trial of the Champion's Ballad. It's actually known as the final trial, because after completing the four Divine Beast trials that the Champions of Hyrule overcame 100 years ago, it's time for us to overcome our own trial to master our own Divine Beast. And well, according to Maz Koshia, the Sheikah Monk, the one that tasked us to go all over, well, the final trial is set place in the Shrine of Resurrection. Yes, where it all started is where our final trial awaits. And well, let's go ahead and make our way to there. And yes, you could have teleported, but I thought it'd be more epic to walk. Anyways, to the brave soul who wishes to master divine beasts, you have done well to return to this place of beginnings. You have overcome many challenges thus far. Now, allow me to bestow upon you one final trial. Return the Sheikah Slate to the terminal you first obtained it from. Do so, and the final passageway will reveal itself. Alright, here we go, and yes, it's so cool that where we started, where we started the game originally, is where the final trial awaits for us. So, yes, I am beyond hyped to show this off. We got a Korok Seed here, obviously there's a Korok Seed you can get from the bed of uh, where you wake up, you know, the, the bed of resurrection where we slept for a hundred years. But believe it or not, something is gonna happen here, and I can't wait to show off what happened. Happens, but all right, I'm gonna leave the obliterator chilling there because you can't really do anything about it and well Let's go ahead and examine the uh, Pedestal and I mean we've done this before to take on the obliterator trial But this time the Sheikah Slate is gonna do something different as you can see Well Sheikah Slate confirmed and Yes, the door is closing don't worry, we're not going to sleep for another hundred years. No, no, no. We're not taking a really long nap. We're actually gonna use this shrine as well. Yes, descending an elevator, so please beware. Okay, well, as you can see, it's gonna start shaky. I can't wait. This is gonna be so awesome. The shrine moves and takes you to the final trial. So here we go. And yes, it has to load. So those who kept up with the Champions Ballad DLC uh, updates, you would know that Nintendo mentioned there was a, gonna be a full dungeon in this pack two of the DLC. And so far we haven't seen any of that. It's all been shrines and only shrines. Well, believe it or not, yes, the final trial is no shrine, of course. It's actually a divine beast because yes, uh, you know, the dungeons of this game have been divine beasts and it only makes sense for the final dungeon to also be a divine beast. Link's divine beast, kinda, sorta, not really. It, it will make sense as we go along. But anyways, here we go and yes, look at this. It's actually still moving right now. If you look behind us and the reason why I pointed out the Korok is because it, it's no longer there now, as you can see, he's gone. Cause he can't come down here, he only remains in Hyrule. I find it weird how they had a Korok in, in area that would eventually move away from Hyrule, or at least underneath Hyrule, but then again, maybe Nintendo didn't have the Shrine of Resurrection to be planned to be, you know, where the final trial would be. Either way, it's cool how they utilize this pedestal, placing it back on easily. If I place my Sheikah Slate again, we can leave, but I'm not here to do that. I'm here to take it on. So, here we go. This is the final trial, my friends, and well, welcome, hero. You have overcome many trials to reach me. Now, it is time to face the final trial. And look at how huge this place is. Yeah, just like every other Divine Beast. I want to say this one's a bit bigger. Yeah, it really depends. But okay, this trial is, com is a complex labyrinth. To start, you will need a map. Okay, well, like every Divine Beast, we usually downloaded the map on our Sheikah Slate. And well, yes, you may obtain the map information from the Guidance Stone. So we are going to download it just like the other Divine Beasts. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. And immediately as you enter it, listen to this music. Yeah, I, I just have to let it play for a second. I mean, we're gonna be listening to it in the background, but I mean, this music is so nice. You may say, oh, this is just the Sheikah Shrine music, right? Well, not exactly. It's, you know, a bit remixed. It has more instruments, more things to it. And there's actually, I wanna say, vocals in it. Like, you can hear this, oh, like, very faintly in the background. And man, it makes it so mystical. Right now. Oh, man, this is awesome, okay. Guys, I am beyond pumped. I'm so excited. This Champion's Ballad has been amazing. And, um, well, it's time to top it off with a Divine Beast, a full dungeon. So, let's go ahead and download our map and, well, get started. 
Here we go, just like every Divine Beast, we easily download it. Oh man, I can't wait to actually take this one on because at the very end it's pretty awesome. But okay, so authenticated, let's go ahead and download all of the data on a little teardrop. It's been a while since we've seen this, right? I mean, the last time we've seen this was either from a Divine Beast or a Sheikah Tower. It depends on what you completed in what order. For us, I believe it was a Divine Beast, but either way... Here we go. So what is the Divine Beast Link owns? What is Link's Divine Beast? What is this Divine Beast shaped of? Um, well, I, I don't know actually. <laughs> uh, you know, I thought this was going to be shaped like a horse or something, but unlike every other Divine Beast, this one really has no shape to it. I mean, at least it doesn't look like an animal of sorts. No beast that I can recognize. But if you see something out of this, maybe a turtle? Is it? No. No, I, I don't know. Okay, whatever. Either way, we got a bunch of cylinder-like rooms coming out, and that's essentially where each one of these terminal points are. So, to really get things started, you actually have to press one of these uh, here so we can actually activate the Divine Beast. Yes, just like every other Divine Beast, our map, by downloading it, we actually have control of the beast itself. So now we can alter the way things move, and for us, it's gonna be giant gears that we can easily ride. This will get us all around the divine beast itself. So, okay, let's go ahead and now uh, take on the first cylinder-like room and hopefully get uh, one of the little terminals complete. And they're not gonna be terminals per se, but they look like them. Uh, you'll figure out what they do as we obtain our first one. But all right, so what I wanna do here is I want to make my way to the other side, but as you can see, there's a platform, um, well, there's platforming we gotta do, this giant uh, walkway of spikes has barely any of it uncovered, so our goal is to try to stop it at a really good point, like, now, maybe, probably not, I don't know if this was a good one, though, uh, we can attempt, you know what, this is probably too soon, let's go ahead and have it rotate a bit more, Honestly, we can try to do it while it's rotating, but I don't think that will be that advised. So, yeah, what you want to do is just patiently wait until uh, this thing is perfectly aligned for you to walk on. But the thing is, you got to do some pretty long jumps, and you might still end up hitting the spikes. Uh, it's not really that big of a deal if we do hit the spikes or not. I mean, yeah, it doesn't really do too much damage. But, all right, let's go ahead and now wait it out. Our goal here is to stop it right now okay I think we can make this so let's go ahead and jump okay no oh crap well that was bad okay I'm not gonna overcomplicate it then um, what I was trying to do is like you know a nice you know shield surf that way I can gain a little distance while making the jump so I don't hit the spikes but you you can make the jump while hitting the spikes and it's not really that big of a deal so let's go ahead and do it by doing so so uh, let me wait patiently. There we go. And now, let's go ahead and jump. You know, let's just surf or do that. That works. Okay. A jump attack. Let's jump attack again. <laughs> there we go. Wow, that was actually easier than a shield surf. Shield surfing had me fall off. But, all right. You know, second time was the charm. Now, what we want to do is... Oh, let's not step on this yet. Uh, but, yes, this ball over here, we want to bring it down. And to bring it down, you need to have it... Uh, enter this little thing going on and uh, if you miss I think it's pretty easy to you know attempt to do again because you can actually reverse the way all of these gears are moving from your map just by swapping the position but all right let's go ahead and be patient and well now is the chance to roll it in okay it's fine that I missed because as you can see now I can do this and well let's go ahead and roll it in properly and then swap back so it can actually uh, continue forward. So yeah, instead of waiting for it to completely rotate once again, you can just do, you know, uh, clockwise and counterclockwise again to fix it. But there we go. The ball is now rolling through this long tube and to get it to its destination, you're gonna have to literally do what I just did earlier and swap it back and forth. Overall, pretty simple. And you know what? I hate to say that. This is the final trial and again, I'm gonna say it's pretty simple and straightforward as I always say for everything, but I mean, it is, you know, it, this is actually really fun to take on and it doesn't have to be super duper challenging or anything. It's just fun. And this, it, yeah, is no exception. It's just really fun, but it's also pretty easy, like uh, the majority of the things we take on within this game. But okay, as you can see, perfectly it should roll right into place. So, voila, we got it, yes. 
um, it rolls right into the center if you do exactly what I did by rotating it back and forth clockwise to counterclockwise. But all right, with this ball, we actually want to return it to the other side and we can't glide with it. So place it like this and well, leap on with Link and follow it and it should just instantly you know, plop in and then we can move on and grab the first terminal and see what it does. So, yeah, there's also a chest up here, but don't worry. For those wondering, uh, can you revisit this Divine Beast unlike all the other ones you can't? You actually can. So, keep that in mind. This beast is here to stay. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, deactivating one lock of the door. This is essentially what the trial is all about. As you can see, it has all of the champion's head heads on the obliterator like weapon uh, that symbol is you know of all the divine beasts so not champions per se but the, the divine beast heads or at least what the champions represent uh, because it doesn't have her boasts or you know a Goron's head or anything like that whatsoever but anywho let's go ahead and now move on to the second trial and the second one is pretty easy to get to as well we just need to make our way down here but oh okay hey guys what's up Oh, groups. Okay, well, I thought I had my Master Sword beam, am, beam out, uh, but I forgot I got hit by a spike or two and uh, fell in some lava, so I'm no longer at full HP. But, if these guys want to, uh, you know, tussle, I'm a tussle. There we go. Let's just go ahead and shoot at them. I don't believe they were originally there. I think every single terminal we get, we progress a little bit into the overall dungeon and more enemies are going to spawn. And uh, clearly these enemies are all going to be, uh, you know, guardian-like enemies. Okay, let's go ahead and quickly move it. Ah, perfect. And there you go. It's instantly moving. But now I'm going to be patient. Uh, because, yes, as you can see, by connecting these, you just put the shape in the the correct shape and, and you're done. <laughs> it's pretty simple because all you need to use is magnesis. And, well, by following the same, you know, idea... We're going to go ahead and do that with another thing. And, I mean, once you get this whole idea down of being able to place the gears and connect them and have them all move together, uh, yeah, this whole shrine all starts to make sense. Because, as you can see, there's a giant metal up here. And, eh, I'm just going to pull it out, have it drop down, though I don't want it to remain here. I don't want it to head up with it, actually, though. Can you fall down? There you go. Okay. It's falling. We got it pick it up let's go ahead and rotate to the other side whoops I didn't mean to do that but might as well wait because there is this coming by and you know, I'd rather be patient there we go come on okay let's go let's quickly turn and then let's place this in like that and well as you can see if I grab this push it out they will now hit each other and you can imagine what that will do just like what we did to get in here we're going to do it to the rest of this room. Yes, connect it. And now everything is moving. Yay! <laughs> yeah. I, it is pretty satisfying to solve, to say the least. But okay, now there's electricity on here, and we can easily grab the um, next piece of the puzzle, which is examine this. So here we go. Second one down, and pretty much we're halfway done with the dungeon itself. But there's still something more. And I'm not even going to bother even mentioning it. If you don't know what it is, I'm not, yeah, I don't want to spoil it whatsoever. We're going to keep it as a surprise. Because it sure surprised me. And it was a great way to end this thing off. So, alright. Two more terminals remaining. And the music is going to add more and more instruments to it. And sound even better than it originally did. Like, I was already blown away by the normal track. And okay, come on, you can make it. Oh, okay. I thought maybe, like, some long jump attack thing would, uh, you know, have Link slither his way through. But whatever. Okay, we have to be patient to get through just like that and well aha a guardian turret hey buddy uh let's go ahead and do this i'm just gonna go ahead and teleport right by you and just kind of go ham all right uh back up uh, okay we blocked it with the shield whoa i didn't think you'd actually hit again i was gonna try to parry it but i was way too close to land the parry let's go ahead and walk around and now you can't even see me ha <laughs> Yeah, this is, again, the easiest way to deceive a turret because for some reason when they're getting hit, they're just like, oh, what's going on? What's happening? Whoa, what's going on? Okay. So, yeah, as you can tell, each time we open up another lock, more enemies are added to make this a bit more difficult, but let's be honest, it's not really making it much more difficult. It's just slowing us down a little bit. Okay, so to continue onward, let's go ahead and jump up this. 
by reversing it uh, counterclockwise, or I can't even tell actually. Is it moving counterclockwise? I think it is, yeah. From If you're looking at it from this way. But either way, I just have it take you up like this, and now you can actually walk on this very thin rotating walkway. Um, there's a lot of games that have similar platforming to this. It's so cool to have this in Zelda. Even though we can't actually control the way the platform moves, it's still really fun to do. And um, All right, let's just go ahead and... Flurry rush. No, wait, I, I'm hitting the shield. Wait, no, okay, it counts. Thank you, game. Woo! All right. I thought I was going to hit the shield for some reason. I don't know why, but yeah, okay. Next, uh, you know, area. Let's go ahead and make our way here. Pull this out. As you can see, this right here is the key to solving this. So we're going to go ahead and place this in this shape and then just start to turn it ever so slowly. There we go. We got it in. Now it's actually stuck. So if we decide to turn this in, we can... Well, I got to be patient here because it needs to uh, actually align with it because this is actually continuously rotating. But once it does, I'll be able to slide it in and now it's all connected, moving the set of gears. And that will open up this next room. So I guess we can just jump down like this and patiently wait to continue on. Um, I feel like this set is probably the best set to wear for this final shrine. Who might think otherwise? Maybe the Tunic of the Wild, maybe even the Champion Shirt. I feel like a Champion Shirt with some other item, but I don't know. This looks really clean, and uh, I just want to keep it for that reason. You know, I feel like for the final trial, we need something the Royal Guard would wear. You know, someone with a bunch of respect in Hyrule, and to me, this screams it. So, okay, let's go ahead and have this blow the other way as you can see yes by the gears moving the opposite way it also affects the fan so what you want to do is use the current it gives you head up here and then vice versa you know you just gotta go ahead and do this and then have it suck you in whoop drop though before that happens and let's go ahead and now stop this fan and well can we make this i probably gonna mess okay I, I thought i was gonna mess that up but we're good so, this is our third one, only one more to go guys, and we have literally one lock, and we're done with this final trial. Alright. <laughs> I'm getting more and more hyped as we go along. <laughs> but okay, and you know what? Quickly jump before you get hit! Okay, sweet. We managed to uh, escape whatever damage that would have happened if I got caught between those giant blades that, you know, is propelling all of that wind, but, okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and now, again, be pa a little patient, like all the other shrines. Luckily, there isn't too much moving. It's literally, you move it either one way or the other with the gears, so it's pretty simple, to say the least. But, all right, to make our way to the other side, we, can, we don't actually have to head up these ladders. We can just walk around like this, and there should be another uh, guardian. Yep, there is a sky watcher, but I actually don't need to face that right now since it's not trying to fight me, so it's fine. Uh, what we're gonna be doing now is instead we're gonna take this ladder. I mean either way would have been just as fast if I Climbed up the first ladder and walked around or did it this way, but all right, so as you can see these giant um, Piston like stone things for some reason start to you know drop down as soon as it, the giant weight of this thing uh, pushes it down so while it's currently like that you want to stasis it to lightly move this gear to have it raise the platform up like that. So yeah, it's it's a very interesting puzzle, but um, once you figure it out, it's pretty simple. I'll be honest, that's probably the only thing I, I scratched my brain a little bit to kind of figure out how to get to work. But aside from that, we should be golden now. So okay, let's go ahead and uh, place this like this. There we go, we placed in the needle that immediately breaks in your own ice block that you created. And by doing that, this will now bring us upwards. And, uh, yeah, I can't believe this is literally the final, uh, piece of this whole trial. This is where the final locked door uh, is, or at least where the little terminal is to open it up, so. Uh, it's actually right over there beyond this door, but that door is locked, so how do we make it to the other side? Well, just jump like this and literally make it to the other side. It's completely open up. It may not look like it when you're sitting on the other side not able to see it, but yes. Uh, it's open for you just to reach. And now, what we want to do is stasis this, hit this, and... Oh, wait, okay. I was going to break the stasis while standing in the middle, but that would have knocked me fly away. <laughs> okay, there we go. By doing that, it's like a, you know, um, a faucet. We have turned it off. 
And let's dive in! Oh, okay, I thought the water was extremely low that maybe Link would have uh, hit himself or something. But no, apparently not. So, by doing that, we have lowered the water level. And what this does, actually, is it should let us make it to the other side where we need to be to attempt to, uh, to get the thing we're looking for. So, yes, by stepping on this switch, I think we are done, right? Okay, not yet. We need to grab this. So yeah, we're pretty much at where we need to be, and this was unreachable without the water level dropping, because you can't swim underwater in this game. So, yeah. Um, let's go ahead and place this back up. I don't know why I was taking it towards me, though. You want to grab the metal block from behind this, put it in front of the giant piston, and have it shoot! And there we go. It pretty much did what we did before. And now, again, the faucets are on. You can easily utilize it to make a ice block that will take us up to the final... Uh, terminal, I guess you want to say? Alright, so Sheikah's Slate authenticated. And while deactivating one lock of the door. The final lock. So yeah, each one of these little puzzles here kind of utilized every single Sheikah rune. And, um, it was pretty fun. And yeah, you couldn't actually use... Uh, any champion ability, so you couldn't like cheese it with Revali's Gale or try to do something crazy like you do in the other Divine Beasts. This one is all about solving it the way it's meant to be solved. There's probably like only very few ways to solve these puzzles, unlike the other Divine Beasts where, where they have like hundreds of different ways. But, anywho, it is now time to leave and uh, make our way to the final stretch of this trial. <laughs> I know I've hyped it up quite a bit, but I mean, it's worth it because it, it's going to be hyped to say the least. Okay, let's go ahead and patiently wait. I could have jumped down, but I wanted to use this area to kind of jump out. I guess we're just going to wait here until it does do that. Maybe I should have had it turn counterclockwise so I can easily make my way to the other side instead of waiting for just the one open area. You know what? Let's just jump out of it from here. Screw it. I'm not waiting. <laughs> okay, so... The final area, as you can see, the way we're going to get it all to work, all to be put into place. Now that the locks are all removed, we need to have this giant gear system link in front of the door. And to do so, well, yeah, we've done this. It fits perfectly by setting it in like this. And, well, it, while it's currently rotating, it won't work, but if we are patient, once the little corners reach where they are right now, we can press it in. Well, uh, yeah, it looks like pretty much the end of what? A shrine? Is this really the end of this Divine Beast? Are we done? What? What's beyond this? A sphere orb? Like, what the heck? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop acting dumb. But yes, this is it. And, I mean, when I first saw this, I was in complete awe. Because I already knew this wasn't it. But, um, seeing this. Seeing the light that is shining into this place. Uh, from like an underground cave. It is so beautiful and mystical, and yeah, I'm impressed. It makes me wonder how Breath of the Wild would have been with full-on caves and, you know, areas to explore like that, underground areas. Hopefully the next Zelda game carries that. But hey, we're playing this one, and let's not get off track. It's time to mess with this. I just want to really take this in and listen to the music a bit more. I'm really enjoying it. But no, guys, we're done. It's time to end things off. Let's go ahead and check out the Sheikah Mark. You have proven to possess the power of a true hero. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this final trial! Yes! You guys know what we're doing right now? I mean, I was so blown away. This is probably the coolest thing ever. The Sheikah Monk we see at the very end of every single shrine is standing up and wants to fight us. This is Maz Kushia, the one that was telling us all about where to go, what to do, trialing us so much. Well, now it's time to prove ourselves to this. And oh man, the music is so hype. This is probably the best thing in the game. This is my favorite boss hands down of all Zelda. And what's awesome is you can refight this boss as many times as you want. So 
Uh, even though I don't play too well now, I can do it as many times. So here we go. Oh yeah, let us begin. Oh man, who would have thought the coolest battle would be a friendly battle versus the monk that taught it all. So, Monk Maskushia. Okay, here we go. It's time. And at first, he's like a Yiga clan member where he's gonna run around and attempt to jump and attack you like crazy. But we can easily avoid it like that and then attack him. And luckily, we can use all of our champion abilities as well. And I'm gonna utilize them pretty well in this. So, let's go ahead and run around before he does this and run in for him. I love this sword on sword combat battle. But trust me, it's not that easy. There's more to this. Let's back up, use the Rook's protection and block some more. Oh yeah, I want to use the OP power I've obtained. And okay, he's not taking any more damage. He's on to the next phase. But I want to use all of the OP power I worked for. You know, I usually say, let's not use champion abilities on a boss, but I don't care. This is Maz Koshia, the Sheikah monk that has trialed us throughout the beginning of this game. And it's time to prove ourselves worthy. So here we go. All right. So this is... Probably the coolest phase in the battle. The reason why is, okay, too many of them. What is this, Tianchan? What am I having, DBZ, what's going on? Okay, no, no, it's not Naruto or DBZ. What you can do is, aha, there you are, buddy. <laughs> wait, wait, let's pull it out again. Aha, there he is. So as you can see, only one Maz Koshia. Yes, you must find him with the Shika Cam. That is your weakness, the, um, the def, this. Okay, so there he is. Let's go ahead and run for him, and bam, we have found him, and now we're actually doing damage. Yes, you want to use your Sheikah Slate to find this dude. So, okay, again, let's actually zoom in. And, oh, you're on the last end of this. So, just keep running. Avoid each attack until you appear to me. Okay, well, I kind of messed that up. But it's fine because now I'm going to use Stasis. Ha <laughs> ha! Before you're able to leave. And now I can touch you myself. Yes. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. And let's see, I guess you're gonna do it again. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab. All right, you're still in the center. So this probably would have been my chance to attack. Oh, let's get teleported, okay. Let's go ahead and avoid these attacks while also grabbing the camera. Let's zoom out a bit. Okay, so there is uh, the Chica Warrior, ha, gotcha. Now we can do damage again. <laughs> this is probably the coolest way to figure out which one is the duplicate. I love this. I love utilizing the Shinka Slate for this. This is kind of fun. Okay, there you are. <laughs> okay, and let's go ahead and do it. This is the first thing I thought of when he started having so many copies. I'm like, how does the game want you to figure out? Wait, will the Shinka Slate identify who he is? And it does. So <laughs> the Shinka Slate is ending up to bite him quite a bit. But all right, this is probably the weirdest phase, in my opinion. Um, because what happens here is it grows quite a bit. <laughs> And uh, this is where it becomes extremely tanky because of its height, probably, or its size in general. Whoa! That scream, okay. So, I'm gonna eat something though. So I can spam my Master Sword Beams, because here's the thing, guys. If you attempt to use any other type of arrow, you'll notice it doesn't do much damage. And he's also throwing stuff at us, which we're gonna avoid. This is similar to what, uh, you know, Master Koga used. The whole battle is similar to Master Koga because it's a humanoid battle that is the opposite of the Sheikah. I like how, you know, uh, Koshia is actually using this stuff. Okay, so this is where I want to then knock it down by doing this. Come on, and electrocute. Perfect. Now it should fall. There we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and stasis and deal as much damage as we can. Yes, you're mine. Haha, <laughs> we can do that. Wow, you've been down for quite a bit. This is too easy. Okay. Well, luckily, what you can do as well, I'm gonna show this off. You can use a Bosa's Fury to knock it down. It won't do much damage, though, but it will give you the chance to dish out as much damage as you want in return. So, the final phase is here. Okay, we managed to luckily block one of the attacks. But yeah, the final phase essentially is where we can get crushed pretty easily. As you can see, we must stasis. Uh, this being okay. Let's go ahead and see how much damage an arrow does. Okay, back up. We're gonna send many versions of itself. Let's go ahead and just be careful. Stasis it, and then deal. Whoa! Oh, I didn't see that. That was amazing. That was so sick. Even though I'm getting hit, I'm having fun. Okay, let's go ahead and. All right, it's fine. It's fine. We got our final rune. Back up. One, two, three, and well, you know what? I want to use Urbosa's Fury on the last hit, to be honest, so... Urbosa, do it for me. Knock her down. Okay, this is my chance. Come down here, and well, it's been fun fighting you, but you're done with.
You faced that challenge with great courage. You have erased all doubt from my mind. You are a true hero. As such, you were destined to take hold of this ancient masterpiece. Oh, yes! Okay, get ready! Here it is, guys. So, what did we work so hard for? You hear this champion music? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's time. Are we gonna channel some, you know, giant energy at the Hyrule Castle to attempt to take it out? Oh, no, that's why not. This, this music's not playing for that reason. This isn't our divine beast. Our true divine beast is... It looks insane because all of this is happening outside and it's floating, but no, don't worry. The, the, yeah, this doesn't mean much here. This is what we're getting. <laughs> oh man, look at it. Our divine beast. Horse meets motorcycle. This, my friends, is the Master Cycle Zero. <laughs> oh yeah. And it's on for us. Well, let's download the Master Cycle Zero rune into our Sheikah Slate. Authenticated. All right. Our new rune. Well, let's transport it yep, into the Sheikah Slate itself with all of this Sheikah technology magic all dripping in. Oh, look, and it becomes a tier to download on, too. Pretty interesting. But yes, I, I mean, this... This is just beyond amazing. I really have no words for it. I mean, we get a motorcycle in Breath of the Wild. We get in a Zelda game, a giant world that utilized horses to travel from one area to another. Well, we got a freaking machine-like horse, uh, aka like a dirt bike, essentially. But uh, it looks like a horse, to say the least, which, you know, that's pretty cool. <laughs> you know, because you originally ride horses, and I imagine Link's Divine Beast being a horse of sorts, so it makes sense. But anyways... That which you have obtained is a masterpiece of innovation created for the one true hero. Hero of Hyrule, may the goddess smile upon you. And we're out. Alright, well... We're not done yet. Now, now we have the Master Cycle Zero, and you can see it on the loading screen. As you can see, right at the very end, there's this little thing just kind of riding along. It is such a nice attention to the detail, uh, and it's cool how we can already see it in this loading screen. But okay, the Great Plateau. This is it. This is the final part of the Champion's Ballad. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, it's you. Oh. I couldn't put my feather on it, but I get a feeling you're even more accomplished than you were last we met. I happen to have a perfect song for someone as esteemed as you. I would love to sing it for you. My teacher's unfinished song, the one I told you about. Oh. I finally completed the key verses. Mm. This lovely location is a perfect stage to sing this special song. It takes place 100 years ago at Hyrule Castle. Yes, the very castle you can see still over yonder. It's about the magnificent inauguration of the Chosen Champions. If you would, please listen to this special song. The Champions Ballad. And well, the song is taking us back. Back 100 years into Hyrule Castle, the final memory of the Champion's Ballad. It's time to actually recover this one. Welcome, warriors. I'd like to thank you for joining me here today and for your bravery in accepting this fateful task. I officially appoint you Hyrule's Champions and bestow upon you this sacred garb. That blue is a symbol of the royal family, one that has been passed down for countless generations. 
Those garments you now wear were all crafted by my daughter, Zelda. Zelda, I trust you with the task only a daughter of the royal family can fulfill. Lead our champions, princess. And together, protect our kingdom from the threat of Calamity Ganon. Those formal shindigs really take it out of me. Hmm. This is the Sheikah Slate, eh? It is. Apparently, there are more uses for it than we originally thought. Sadly, we've yet to decipher all of its secrets. The princess showed me something strange recently. Somehow it can create true-to-life images. Wow. I would love to see it. Um, Princess, may I ask a special favor of you? All right, this spot should work nicely. Keep your eyes on the Sheikah Slate, everyone. Uh, Daruk, can you crouch down a bit? You're as big as Death Mountain. Huh? Oh. What's with the glum face, Princess? Give me a big smile! Huh? <sighs> Ravali, move your tail closer to the group. <sighs> Fine. Mifa, you look so tense. Deep breaths, okay? Right. <sighs> Stay just like that. Here we go. Smile. Click snap! There we go. Probably the best cutscene within the game. Mm. After the ceremony, they would all be forever known as champions. Little does he know he's talking to one of them, but whatever. My teacher always advised me to write songs that transport the listener to the moment and time you're singing of. Mm. Now, I finally feel I understand what he meant and the true power of music. Mm. By the way, I found this when I was looking through my teacher's notes. I was thinking, you should be the one to keep it. Mm. Your courageous heart reminds me of the inimitable spirit of the champions. I know you'll treasure it. And well, we've gotten the picture of the champions. This is the exact photo that Pura took of us 100 years ago. And why do I know that's Pura, even though the game didn't say it was? She said snap. Come on, guys. We all know that was Pura. That was freaking awesome how they even had that reference. Like, that cutscene is so amazing. And uh, it, it's really sad because you get to like these champions more and more from the champions ballad. And they're just dead. Like... We can't see them anymore, they're no longer in the game, but it's so weird, the experience of not really knowing them and only knowing them through cutscenes, it feels like we've known them for so long, like the storytelling is so well in this game, and how everything is in the past, but you still feel connected and emotional to it while you're still, you know, 100 years in the present, uh, I don't know, just the way things go back and forth. Such an amazing way and great storytelling. Hopefully the next Zelda game, our heroes are alive because it's a bit much. You know, it's really sad to see all of this. But alright, there we go. The picture of the champions, the reward of the champions ballad. Along with the Master Cycle Zero, but still. This music is so nice. This is, I guess, the true version of the champions ballad. All, you know, five of them. A final thought. May the souls of the champions who watched over Hyrule rest in peace. Link. Link. 
Link, I have watched your journey, every step. You have overcome every challenge with great courage. With the power that you have attained, I am certain you can defeat Calamity Ganon. Yeah, 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 no crap, I already did that, so who cares? <laughs> Truly. Truly? Whoa, thanks for the, for the help Zelda, but there you go. So EX, the champion's valid, is complete. And I don't want to push a button so the camera doesn't automatically zoom it you know, into Link. But as you can see, this is a very weird and interesting camera angle that if we literally hit any button, even maybe pause, let's see, let me pause, unpause. Okay, we're good. So let me jump, there we go, and now it fixed. Yes, that does it for the Champions Ballad. We are done with all of the trials, all the story. We have all the memories, um, as you can see right here. And I'm probably gonna do a video where I show them all in order. If you guys wanna see that, uh, let me know, and I'm definitely gonna do it then, because it, it's just such an awesome set of cutscenes, and, yeah, seeing them one after another is pretty nice. I mean, I'm definitely gonna rewatch it myself in a bunch of different languages, just to take it in, because I really enjoyed it, but, yeah, guys, that does it for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild's Champions Ballad. Now, what's really cool is, we can use this, yes, the Master Cycle Zero. So, is the journey over now that we've done all of this? Well, the answer is no, because I purposely left a bunch of stuff that we haven't done yet and well it is time to get to it let's do this yes we are on the master cycle zero okay I'm, I'm being really stupid but you know what we are making our way somewhere right now yeah before we end this video you thought I was gonna end the video now heck no I gotta use the master cycle zero for a little bit and the answer is we're, we're heading to Heitano village but it's hitting me that Heitano village might take a while to get to the with the Master Cycle Zero, but I know you guys might want to see some gameplay of it any either way, and we've made it so far and we unlocked it that I don't care, I'm going to use it. Now, while I'm, you know, going all over the place right now, don't worry. We're going to make our way to Hate to Know Village, and the reason why is, well, that photo Cass gave us can actually be hung on our wall at our home. That's the first thing I did when I got it in my normal file, and, well, I want to do it again because, to me, that's very important. So, we're going to jump off. No fall damage, of course. We got... Freaking amazing tires that can go uphill, can go everywhere. This is pretty much a dirt bike. Like, it can go on mountains, it can do anything. It is freaking awesome. So, we're gonna put it to the test by heading all the way to Heitano Village from the Great Plateau. No teleporting, wasting time, adding fun to, to what, uh, you know, was already pretty fun. But yes, we're gonna be doing so much of this from here on out. I cannot wait for, um, for pretty much, like, what there is to come from here on out like while we finish all the story and it's so sad that this is probably the official end of breath of the wild story it's champions and everything maybe we'll get a prequel maybe we won't i don't know but um it was amazing while it lasted and yes i'm kind of testing the speed of this this isn't necessarily faster than a horse the thing about it here is it is um consistent in speed like it will never slow down there is no you know using carrots or you know whatever the method is for speeding your horse it's just constantly driving though I guess it has issues on stairs but you know it's fine but okay whoa even rocks it's very sensitive to as you can see but we can jump on it and we can also do wheelies which is pretty sick but performing a wheelie when there is um what's it called uh there's like, you know, a little jump or anything. Link might end up falling backwards a bit. And the second Link is not uh, right side up, he'll immediately fall off the uh, thing. <laughs> Whoa, we're just killing things as we go along. But yes, okay, let's see how long this actually takes us. Maybe this was a really dumb idea, but I mean, I just felt like it, it was necessary to add to the video. Like, yes, a whole, you know, point A to point B travel thing on the bike we're not teleporting we're not doing any of that we're just taking Hyrule in as is and why not but I mean while I slowly make my way there I just want to talk about how awesome the champions ballad was as a whole now don't worry next video we're gonna be using this a little bit more because the videos aren't over we actually have one side quest that I purposely saved because what I want to do for this side quest is yes the ancient uh, you know horse rumors our plan is to kind of do a speed test. What's faster, a horse 
or the Master Cycle Zero. So we're going to be doing that demonstration in the next video when we obtain the remaining Horus gear. So that's why I put that aside. So don't worry. I didn't forget about it. It's not that I'm not going to get it. We're going to get it. But aside from that, we're going to have Korok Seeds. But that will be pretty much it. Will there be more Breath of the Wild DLC? I highly doubt it. I don't think Nintendo plans on doing more. I think it's over. The Game 1 Game of the Year. The game got updates until the end of the year. Um, I don't see it continuing. But that's also, you know, uh, you know, I might be wrong. I don't know. It's Nintendo. They can do whatever they want. They added a motorcycle in this game, you know? Like, who would have even thought that, let alone... Um, Freaking, you know, adding DLC hey. in the games because that's officially thinking. Whoa, what the heck? Why do you yell so loud? I can give you directions. Ah, I'm good. I don't think I need directions. We we know where we're going. Um, but oh yeah, and as you can see, we have a certain amount of um, gas, and I'm about to run it dry. If anything, I kind of want to run it dry so I can show you guys how to fill it up as well. I'm sure maybe one or two people might wonder how because yes. This runs on fuel, and you have to use certain items to refuel it back up. So, let's just keep going now. Um, you know, this is Fort H, you know, so technically we're almost there. We're more than halfway there, to say the least. Let's see if this will actually run all uh, on a full tank and make it there. I don't think it will, though, but it's worth testing. And we got to hang that picture we just obtained. So, yeah, so we're going straight to H, you know, to do that. And if you hold forward, actually, Link does... Kind of, you know, let's see, accelerate a bit, as you can see, like that. Oh, wait, right, this way, there we go. But he's not really going much faster. Either way, yeah, it's, it's awesome to see this. Okay, let me actually look at where I'm going, though. So much as I want to show off a link as well, while I'm, you know, driving around, uh, I, I need to see where I'm going. And since this is going so fast, it's not like a horse. You can't just let the horse, you know, how you, how you can let the horse guide its own way because it's a living being, you know, it's sentient, it knows what it's doing. Um, th this isn't at all. This, um, you're controlling it 100%. So if you just kind of let go of the analog stick on the track, it will not follow along. It's not that smart. It's just a motorcycle. So you can't do much else with it. But okay, as you can see, it's about to run out. Can we make it to hate to know before the tank runs dry? Come on, we got this. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. We, we might not have it, but. Uh, come on. If we can literally make it to Hayton, that'd be the best way to just jump off and let it be. But no, I'm going to fill it back up, even when it does. I, I do want it to run dry, though. Come on, you got this. Run dry on me now. <laughs> it won't. Oh, whoa, look at this lag. Did we come in too quickly? Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that, that isn't anything too scary, though. Uh, that's happened to me a lot. If you've played this game for over a thousand hours, I think you're bound to see one or two of those. But, okay, not up here is where I want to go. I want to head to my house, so it is up this and across the bridge. And let's see if it empties out right as we reach the house. No. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but okay. Now it's put back, and well, oh, okay, well, it was loading everything in our house, let's see it, wow, the game is just being really laggy, oh, there we go, <laughs> anywho, uh, we came here for something particular, and that is this, <gasps> look at that, our wall is pretty empty, it can use a little poster frame, and this seems like a good spot for the picture you got from Cass, would you like to display the picture here, yeah, let's do it, and well, here we go. And there we go. I feel like that finally completes the Champion's Ballad for us. We have hung the photo we got at the very end. Kind of want to take a photo of the photo because it's just so beautiful. Uh, you can see the team. And man, this is a high quality photo. Even more high quality than the game. The Shiki Slate has some good resolution when it comes to taking digital pictures. Okay, I'm going to stop joking. Um, so yeah, there we go. We hung it up. I like the little music, you know, Link getting a little sentimental or whatever. It's pretty nice. And it's really heartwarming. Overall, I mean, it was a roller coaster of emotions the last couple cutscenes when I first watched it. And even now, like, I, I, I felt pretty 
Um, oh, there we go. It finally ran out of fuel. But yeah, it was it was really something. Like it's very moving watching these cutscenes. Maybe Cass's songs aren't, but the memories he gives you, it is for sure. But okay, as you can see, it's not working anymore. <laughs> I'm spamming the uh, what's it called ignition button, and nothing is happening. This is me every day I, when I wake up to use my car. Does anyone you know you're just gonna have a good start today? Just imagine, let's say, you know, let's put a scenario here, and yes, the Master uh, Zero, uh, the Master Cycle Zero is empty, but, you know, imagine just waking up one day, walking outside, you know, did it des despawn? Okay, well, and then, you know, tell, wait, no, it didn't despawn, it's, yeah, it did, okay. Activating your car, and actually we could, maybe, let's see if it will work. There we go! <laughs> Alright, yeah, imagine starting your day like this. You know, gonna leave the shed, and well, <laughs> it doesn't even, it like wouldn't even attempt to try to add back. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I don't really know where I'm going with this joke, to be honest. I just want to mess around with that again. Okay, anyways, to, uh, you know, pretty much activate it, you just want to throw in material. Now, uh, I'm pretty sure anything can work, right? It just needs fuel, and then you just fuel like that. But, depending on the fuel you put in, uh, it, it can definitely give it more or less. Now, let's try some meat. They say fueling with me is always a way to... Okay, I'm making this up, but let's try it out. Oh, yeah, okay. In reality, I feel like the best thing to use if you have a bunch of shafts and gears and screws is some ancient stuff, because you can, you know, replenish way more with it. I feel like that's what it's meant to use. And, well, we're back. And also, something that is pretty nice is this. Wait, wait, no. Hold A and B at the same time. Wait, wait, no, no. I guess hold A first, and then hold back, and then let go. Actually, okay. there's a little boost you can get, uh, but I can't actually get it to work. Let's see. There you go. Wait. Come on. And... Uh, okay, that was horrible. Woo! Found the water. Oh, no. Thank God I have Sheikah insurance, and I can just do this like a good monk. Sheikah's farm is there. Okay, I'm gonna stop <laughs> before I uh, really just, you know, waste more time. I mean, what are we doing right now? We're done. Okay, thank you all so much for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm just having fun at this point using this. Uh, we're definitely gonna do some live streams and a lot more gameplay with it, so don't worry. I mean, I feel like we showed it off a good amount, but I still plan on using it some more because we still have more Breath of the Wild videos to go. But that does it for all of the main story. That does it for the Trials, the Champions Ballad as a whole. So this is where the true quest ends. Thank you all so much for joining me throughout this adventure. Whether you joined from the very beginning of part one of Breath of the Wild when the game first came out, or you joined me in the DLC portions. Either way, thank you so much for joining me in this adventure. I had so much fun doing it. Um, man, Nintendo put out such an amazing experience for us to experience together that, you know, I wouldn't want to do it any other way. Such an awesome game. I'm so happy we can play together this game. Like, yeah. This is my favorite game of all time, and it was awesome to let's play it. Thank you all so much for watching me play this game. And, uh, well, I guess it's time to say goodbye. So, again, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, and I've been Zelda Master. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.